Sometimes in football, players are simply unable to be on the pitch and help their teammates. Usually, an absence is a result of an injury or a serious family issue. But there are also other cases as well, some of which are not disclosed to the public. Furthermore, sometimes players even fake injuries or situations just to avoid playing. But what if I told you that one player actually made up the death of his relative whilst all the time she was still alive and well? Well, don't go anywhere, as today we discuss Stephen Island, the footballer who took his grandmother's life. So to begin, let's first discuss a little bit more about the man in question. Having now hung up his boots, Ireland had a successful career within football, earning 250 appearances in the Premier League. During his career, he turned out for Manchester City, Newcastle, Stoke City and Aston Villa. However, once his contract with Bolton was cancelled, the Irishman didn't return to the field, thus making Bolton the final stop of his career. In just his six appearances for the national team, Ireland scored four goals, which is an impressive return. But it's the controversy around the national team that we'll be focusing on today. The Granny Gates, as it's now known, took place at the beginning of Ireland's career during his time at Manchester City. Stephen Ireland received a national team call-up for a game against the Czech Republic. Then, the footballer asked the federation for a compassionate leave, as his grandmother had allegedly died. Ireland then asked Manchester City boss Sven Goran Eriksson for the leave to be extended. According to Ireland's reasoning, he was still grieving and had to help with funeral arrangements. Both the national team and the club respected the players' needs. However, it turned out to be a huge lie. British journalists discovered that Ireland's grandmother, Patricia Talon, was still alive at the time. The woman herself was shocked as she read about her own death in the press. So, how did Ireland react to all of this? Well, he said that he meant his paternal grandmother, Brenda Kitchener. But there was another twist. This situation turned out to be the same old story, with Brenda also alive and well. As a result, her relatives even threatened to take legal action regarding the footballer's lies. Later, Stephen changed his story and then claimed that his grandfather was the one that died, but finally realised that his further lies were pointless. So, instead, decided to apologise for his behaviour by saying this. I decided that this has got to a stage that I must tell the truth and admit that I've lied. I realise now that this was a massive mistake. I should not have said that my grandmother died, and I regret it. It was wrong, and I sincerely apologise to anyone that I have caused problems for. I would also like to apologise to my grandmother and all my family. I have learnt a valuable lesson. I hope that those who I have hurt will forgive me. Well, that concludes today's video. And remember, we're inviting all football fans to join the free browser game footballteamgame.com. Simply follow the link in the description. Apart from that, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.